Do you like chili? Really hot chili? Then you should try O'Malley's new really f***ing hot chili. That's right, O'Malley's new really f***ing hot chili is so hot it's guaranteed to burn the roof of your f***ing mouth or your money back. Made from the hottest jalapenos, spices, and peppers. After just one bite, you'll say, wow, that's the hottest f***ing chili I've ever tasted. That's O'Malley's new really f***ing hot chili. From the makers of goddamn good chowder and ass kicking soup. Pick some up at your f***ing grocer today. Remember, if it's not O'Malley's, it's not that f***ing hot. And we are back. It's pretty fucking hot, though. Yeah, some hot fucking chili. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Mm, chili. chili. (laughs) (laughs) So, I guess we should talk about Sim Limited. It's an Australian group I run with. Talk about them. Talk and, about them. Uh, in our factor world. Them. Yeah. <laughs> Crusher is not the gamer. He, he's the gamer when it comes to... Uh, the Black Ops. Black Ops, Two. yes. And I do a lot of sim racing. A lot of sim racing. And Sin Limited is a group I run with out of Australia. They're, Australia. They're, they're, they're my mates, you know? So. <laughs> so we thought we'd bring them on board this week. Kind of a sponsorship, you know? They're not paying us, but, you know. Well, why not? Well, because, you know. Goddamn. It's a tight economy down there in Australia, <laughs> you know. Like, like 20 bucks to us is 20 bucks to them, but their shit costs, like, a lot more, you know. <laughs> so, I think I think a pack of smokes down there is, like, 40 bucks. Damn. You know. For and, a pack of smokes? Yeah. And a oh pack of smokes God, here is damn. $5. So, I'd- our dollars are even, but their economy is way higher, you know. Hell, I think I, if I lived in Australia, my ass would be going into the tobacco growing into <laughs> something. <laughs> uh, they're gonna let, and, 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 like if you watch TV and stuff, you know, it sounds like it's nothing but desert. You know, it's like one of their states is the size of half our country. You know, <laughs> so you know, and I think there's like four or five states in Australia or something. I don't know. So it's funny. I don't. I don't know a whole lot about Australia, even though I hang out with the Australians all the time. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, but you know our good friends down there in Australia at Sim Limited, you know Matty B and Ash and Oz Freak and Edman and all my buddies down there. You know these guys have always been good to me. So ever since I got there, they they've been awesome guys for me. You know to hang out with. You know and Sim Limited is a competitive racing format. You know it's it's about winning. You know so you have to like. You know, you have to get in there and you have to prove yourself and, and do well. You know, they're they're probably one of the more competitive leagues that there are. You know, it's like a like an I racing or like a like the MLG of Black Ops or something. You know, these that's just, it's that kind of a platform. Oh, yeah. You know, so and I race the V8 supercars. And it's only there. for like computer. Kind yeah, of it's stuff, for PC. Right? It's for R Factor and R Factor Two, and R Factor Two is in a beta, which a lot of the leagues are running series on a beta. So, you know, that's pretty cool that they're so far ahead of the curve, yeah. you know, because the game actually officially hasn't even been released yet. The game, the simulator, we should call it a simulator because it's more of a simulator than it is a video game. A simulator. Yeah, it's not a video <laughs> game, man. It's a simulator. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> and, like, back in the Forza 3 days when I ran that, I, I know you remember me running that, yeah. I, I won championships all the time there. You know, I had, like, eight, nine championships in Forza. And then when I got into R Factor, it was such a high level up that I was lucky to finish. You know, <laughs> I mean, these guys were, you know, people were that good at R Factor and R Factor Two. Yeah, they're just that much far more advanced. You know, and last year I was lucky enough they had an inter, inter international series or an intercontinental series where it mixed Australian tracks and American tracks, you know, tracks from all over the world, and I was actually lucky enough to win the championship. Mm-hmm. You know, at Sim Limited, so that was very cool. I haven't been able to to match it yet, you know. <laughs> but you know, but they have a they have a they have a V8 supercar format uh, on R Factor One, and they have a Clio Cup and a Formula Two Club Cup Club. club. It's a club Formula Two Cup in R Factor Two, and they have a uh, and and then there's rumor that something's going to start on Wednesdays. And we're not really, I'm not really sure what it is, but there, it might be a German touring car series from the last time I heard. So that'd be like on Wednesdays. And most of the races are on Saturdays. So like almost every Saturday, 
they're racing something. Something. Yeah. So and they're on there all the time. You know, they're always tuning and talking and hanging out and so. Fun. So let me ask you this. Okay. As a person that has never been on it, yeah, wouldn't know the first thing about even trying to get on. Yeah. This. How do you go about for the people that are interested in checking it out? How do you go about? setting up accounts and and getting the thing going well when you when you go when you well you, you have to buy a, the simulator you know and when you buy the simulator then you you get yourself good enough and then you find you look for clubs look for what you're interested in you know like i'm into the v8 supercars so i just look strictly for v8 supercar style stuff oh, okay. you know and that's how i come across these guys you know and they're at simlimitedracing.com simlimited so <laughs> <laughs> I did that answer? I don't. I'm not sure if that answered the question. Yeah, or not. yeah. I mean, you know. I, so where do you get these simulators? Well, it, you pretty much build them yourself. Pretty much, you know. Yeah. They got companies out there like Fanatec and uh, Logitech and uh, Thrustmaster. You know, you almost have to know what you're looking for. You know, you're like you have to. It's it's a it's a world of its own. You have to go look for these things. You know, it's like, well, I need the best. I need a racing wheel. I gotta have pedals. Gotta have a shifter. You know, none of these things are sold rarely as a pack. Yeah. You know, I mean, you could probably get a a beginning pack. You know, with the wheels and the pedals and the shifter. You know, and it, and it's and it's pretty pricey. You know, I mean, just starting out, it's probably about I'd say about two fifty three hundred bucks. You know, for something, you know, cheap. Uh, not really cheap. Well, but the Xbox One's gonna be four hundred ninety nine bucks. Yeah, it's so. five hundred bucks. So you know, buying a wheel on top of it ain't, you know, you know, <laughs> ain't that much of a difference, I guess. You know, but I mean, these things are they're you know they're judged by performance. You know, I mean, to have the best wheels and the best pedals and the best shifters, you're looking at thousands of dollars. You know, Damn. they have, they have some they have some simulators that cost thirty forty thousand dollars. Oh shit! You know, and and they're motion simulators. So, like, when you hit a bump in the road, the whole thing shakes, you know? Oh, so you're, like, in a bubble or something. Yeah, pretty much it's a frame with, like, shocks and stuff on it. And they, yeah. Uh, but the, the awesome thing about it, I found out, is uh, they use base cannons, you know, like the, the, the back of this base speaker, you know, with the magnet and all oh, that is. Oh, yeah. Well, they'll mount that, and they'll hit it, hook it into, like, a surround sound card on their computer. And when you hit something, that rumbler will shake. Oh, dang. You know, and you can feel it on that side of the simulator, you know, and they can put them, you can put them damn near anywhere. So that's, that's pretty cool. I thought about getting something like that, but that, I don't know. I'm not quite there yet, you know, but you know, like, I think my rig, I got the racing seat. I got a Derek Spear shifter, Fanatec pedals, Fanatec wheel. We're looking at a thousand dollars easy, damn. you know, and then I got a seven foot projector screen on top of it. You know, and, that's, and I paid one ninety nine for my Xbox and yeah. sixty for a game. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> so, but you bought a damn controller for it. Yeah, so. bought a controller for it. But a controller probably cost you what fifty, sixty bucks. Yeah. You know, so and then you like you look at a, uh, you know, high end controllers for the Xbox. You know, you're up there about yeah, hundred bucks. Crazy. Yeah, they get up hundred bucks, hundred fifty bucks. You know, so you kind of get what you pay for, I guess. You know, and and a lot of these things. So, you know, but I you know. You know, I mean, there are different kinds of leagues, you know. Uh, Sim Limited is a more of a competitive league, you know, where they race more for the win, you know. Yeah. But they're a great bunch of guys, you know. They all talk crap to each other and, you know, they have fun. You know, it's about, you know, <laughs> they like to, you know, they like to have fun, you know. But, no. you know, when it comes to the, the green flag flies, you know, it's it's time to go, you know. <laughs> and, he, you know, even if you nudged one, you know, nudged the guy in the car next to you, they're still laughing their ass off about it. You know, it's not, no, nothing's too serious. Not serious. Yeah. You know, like a sim guy would know, you know, I mean, it's not eye racing serious, I guess, you know. So. Yeah, just, I've heard you talk about how serious that. Yeah. You know, people get pissed if you. Oh, yeah touch them <laughs> yeah you know it's not like that you know asshole. you know but they're a good competitive league so i um i can't do it personally you know we talked about me doing it yeah but you know we talked about how i would just be wrecking people too <laughs> just for the hell of it just for the hell of it <laughs> i'd say oh he's in the lead and he's up behind me about to pass me up <laughs> oh look he just wrecked <laughs> <laughs> he just wrecked <laughs> And it's so. funny because when you're when you're a racer and something like that happens, oh man, you feel about two inches tall, you know. Because <laughs> the last thing you want to do is wreck the leader, you yeah. know. Because if you're actually if the leader's actually passing you, you're doing not so well, you know. So. 
But, you know, for me, I would purposely go slow and and i'd wait for them to come up behind me <laughs> yeah <laughs> you, you you do well in like i don't know some kind of demolition circuit or <laughs> league or something you know so. i just want to see shit get tore up yeah That's all i want to see <laughs> <laughs> you're in it for the racing aspect of yeah. it i'm in it to see shit get tore up yeah <laughs> <laughs> so. you know, but anything you know it's like anything you know if it's not fun it's not really what it's doing, yeah. you know, no matter how competitive it is, you know, because, I mean, hell, I'm a hobbyist, you know. I mean, my work is fun, you know, <laughs> professional wrestler, professional musician, sim racer. Uh, what else is there, you know, I mean, slot car uh, enthusiast. Hold it. Yeah. <laughs> and, and a Pinocchio, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For those Australian people, that means pussy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are what you eat, brother. Yeah, yeah that's true, that's true, that's true, so. But so you saying I'm a chicken or what? You're a chicken, man. <laughs> you, you eating chicken six times a day, six days a week. I'm that a makes you a chicken. chicken. That sucks. <laughs> so, but but yeah, it is pretty cool to have you know have them back in it and yeah, checking out shows and you know just enjoying it. Yeah, so. we 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 appreciate them and I I appreciate them because they've helped me out a lot in that world. So, you know. If hell, if Tony was there, I'd tell him to lick your wiener right now. Oh, but. come on now. Don't say <laughs> shit like that. You say shit like that, and, and people will bring that shit up, and I'll never get rid of it. You know? It's like the wrestling world. Some oh, asshole shit. called me String Bean String once. Bean, yeah. yeah. And I got stuck with that damn title for 10 damn years. You hell, know? even now. Shit. Even now. Who the hell's that String Bean doing? <laughs> fucking old man. That's crazy. <laughs> you old bastard. So, but. Damn. so, where do we go, man? What do you want to talk about? Ah, <sighs> shit. Been a lot of shit going on. Let's, hey, let's talk about the casino. Well, if we do that, we're going to have to cut. Yeah, we're going to cut, so. So. Oh. Yeah, let's let's get into it a little bit. Okay, then, we'll set up we'll for it, and then back. after the commercial, we'll, yeah, we'll get really into it. So. We're, what we're trying to do, people, is, you know, do this in 15-minute segments until we figure out how long YouTube is going to give us. Yeah, right now they're giving us 15 minutes. Yeah, so, so we're, we're just trying to. Be nice to YouTube. But <laughs> YouTube hasn't kicked our ass off yet. So, so that's good. Yeah, we appreciate that, huh? So. <laughs> and I want to thank the people, too, for the hits. We've been yeah, getting we've hits been getting on hits. the first show. Awesome. So, yeah, thank you, everybody. Hell, one hit. That's that's great for me. You know? Yeah. I mean, somebody's listening. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they're listening or if they just ran by it on, on accident and said, what the fuck? Either way. <laughs> five or 500. Well, we'll that's always it. been our motto. You know, we don't care. There's five or 500 in the crowd. We're going to keep doing what we're doing, uh, yeah. and hopefully they enjoy it, you know. So, but the setup for the casino was is uh, we went down to the casino to pick up my sister-in-law, my yeah. wife's sister. She was flying in from Oregon. I think. Hell, I don't know. Oregon, I never Washington? found out what, where she was flying yeah. from. I was like, okay, we're picking her up. <laughs> so she was just coming into Cape Girardeau, and we all went down there to meet her, and we ended up gambling. <laughs> or we were gonna, we were going there to gamble. Let's not say it was an accident, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, we were good. Shit, I was ready. <laughs> yeah, he was ready. I was ready, you know? <laughs> I mean, I, I thought, I mean, I was thinking, okay, uh, how much money should I take with me kind of thing, you know? <laughs> Because I have to ask the accountant, which is my wife, you know. <laughs> so anybody ever talk, hears me talk about my accountant, it's really my wife. So, <laughs> so, but I don't know. So maybe we should do a commercial now and then get into the whole casino thing. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, we could. Uh-huh. Um, let's do that. Let's do I that. I want to talk about the Mexican restaurant we ate at. Oh, yeah, be. that was Damn. awesome. Well, we'll be back after these messages then. Bye-bye. We'll be back. 